Hello all, once again, I am Shade Singh, PhD from IIT Delhi and ex-IES officer and in, for year 2020, I am top 5% researcher in the world as per elsewhere. So in this uh, short video, I am going to tell you about how to begin your research journey. There are many students who go for either M.Tech program or M.S. program in different universities or Ph.D. program for that matter. And some of our youngsters, those who are pursuing graduation from different universities, they have dreamed that I want to become researcher. So before becoming full fledged researcher, we need to publish papers. <laughs> So in this particular video, I'm going to tell you when you are fresh, when you don't know anything, how to start publishing paper and how exactly we should start research. So uh, first of all, I recommend to all of you, either you uh, write a uh, review paper, a review paper, there are two types of review, review paper. First paper, first type of paper is written by beginners, just starting their care, budding their careers in research. Again, the second type of research papers are written by established people. They have a uh, few hundred papers in that area and they know basically what is happening in that area. Now they start writing the papers so review papers, what he has done, what he has done. And such papers are published in progress and progress and material. Suppose you are material researcher, progress and material science, big, big impact factor, 30 or 35 impact factor journals. So uh, that is not our cup of tea. <laughs> For beginners, if they write review paper, select, you know, general, not a very big general, impact factor 0.5. These things I will tell you in other uh, video. What is the impact factor? How to select a general? I will tell you in some other video. So some 0 0.5, 0 0.6 impact factor or conferences linked to some publication window and that window must be indexed in either Scopus or Web of Science. These terms I will prepare a separate video because I want to keep the length of video short so that your interest is not killed. <laughs> so I am planning to have multiple videos on that. So for beginners, they can write a research paper either to be published in some uh, conference linked to some indexed proceedings or number two, some indexed generals having impact factor 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Be very, very careful before selecting a general, consult some established researcher because you name country in every country there are scams there are some all uh, c-grade journals are propping up they also say impact factor five or six but actually it is not impact they are bogus journals and in the beginning it will kill your research if you choose those kinds of journals so be very careful so either you write a re short is this review should be short i will also tell you how to do it or you can write a full-fledged research paper. Full-fledged research paper. That option is also there with you. So first of all, let us say uh, how beginners can write a review paper. There is a site called sciencedirect.com. There is a website called sciencedirect.com. Because I am telling you everything so that you don't have any problem. ScienceDirect.com. Put in the browser and you will get this type of window. In the Science Direct, it's a basically collection of all the, uh, you can say, journals that are available on Elsevier, Taylor Francis, even IEEE, Hindwai, I mean, all the index journals. So, Whatever you want to search, this is the website. So, once again, first of all, I am telling you 
how to write a review paper for beginner. First of all, you have to have an area in which you would like to work. Area in which you would like to work. It should not be mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science. These are not areas. So, suppose you want to uh, work on the area of, let us say, computer architecture. So, there is one uh, window, keywords, author name, journal. If you know the, if you want to search within that journal, tap the journal name. Or if you want to know that I want to see the articles of such and such author. Suppose if you tap my name, Singh Swadesh Kumar, you will get 172 general articles on the list. So, but for beginners, I, I do not encourage you to fill this thing. Fill the keywords. The area in which you would like to do research. Let us say that area is computer architecture. You want to do something in that. Okay, CSE people. Now, if you click it, you know, see how many? 338,576 results comes, appears. See this one. <laughs> 338,576 results. Now, you should filter it out. Filter it out. Filter it out. 2000, oh no, no. No, they have even, they, they made some typographical mistake. It's a 2022. 2022, only one paper is published. 2023, 75. You know why the 2023 is coming? Because your paper is accepted by the general, but it is about to be assigned volume in 2023, next year. So, some 75 articles are already assigned volume in year 2023. Now, 2000. Uh, 20, no, this is something else. Now, you can further... How many review articles are there, see? You would, you would like to see review articles, 15,000. Research articles, this much. Now, where they are published, published Procedure Computer Science, Neurocomputing, Computer Science Related Journals, okay, na? So, you can filter it out further. Let us see more. So, where you want to, uh, generally, if you are writing a review paper, do not refer a review paper again. So, let us say, I don't want to uh, have the review articles. I want to see only research articles. And let us say, subject area, let us say, engineering, computer science, social sciences, material science, let us say, I select the material science. So, I want only research articles in the area of material science. Now, we have got only 16,680 articles. So, that's how you can filter your research. Now, I will give you one more example. Suppose, you type the keyword functionally graded material. I teach these things in my classrooms. So, I will tell you later on the, what are the functionally graded materials. It's a very good no, new area. If I type the key, keyword functionally graded material, see, only 98 results are there. In 2022, three articles published, 2021, 7 and 2026. So, now you can scroll it. It's open access, where computational, structural, uh, biotechnology, materials today proceedings. Then most of the articles are materials today proceedings. Then ecological modeling. So now you are about to write a review paper. So what you should do? Select 20 papers. Don't arbitrarily download everything. Select only 20 papers spread in last 5 years. Select only 20 papers spread in last 5 years. It should be more recent. And those papers you should download. Hmm. What all of you should do? From this, uh, copy the strength of material, I mean the title and all these things, put on a separate page. You can see the abstract. You can see the abstract of each and every paper. See, I have just clicked it. So, abstract appear. Huh? Abstract.
expect keywords everybody can see but you will not be able to download the full paper so copy article by reading the abstract you will come to know what is presented in the paper so now those 20 papers you copy on a word if you are studying in a good institute let us say if you are in india iits nits bits velour manipal generally these institutes will have institutional access when you are inside the institute you can download anything present on the science direct because they pay heavy amount annually to give access to these journals so either you can tell your friends studying there to download these papers for you those 20 or i will give you another thing there is something called sci hub <laughs> of course it's illegal from sci hub you can download anything but you will not be able to download the most recent papers from sci hub okay now so now you download 20 papers these 20 papers should be selected very properly now <clears throat> every day you read one paper in the right one page summary one page printed summary what is there in the paper so in the 20 days you will have 20 20 pages at the end of 20 days you are just stitching all these 20 pages just as if in one flow writing paper what what this person did what this person did writing as a summary of these 20 pages and at the end you write abstract and conclusion that becomes a review paper what are the research gaps what are the people what are the gaps that that are there in this study that becomes a review paper by a student and if you have a, a guide is cooperative of course my guides at IIT Delhi they were very highly cooperative and they helped me a lot basically correcting these review papers and all these things and that review paper please get the plagiarism checked plagiarism means how much percentage you have copied review paper doesn't mean that you copy from there and paste it doesn't mean that you have to write in your own language and this review paper better to submit to some slightly below average general impact factor 0 0.5 0 0.6 or indexed proceedings that is one now second category is you can you are writing a research paper now the process remains same have the 20 articles because the area in which you are working you know what other other people have done it how to cite references is also an art i hope there are some videos on my channel that from there you will get given by some other faculties of bits that how to cite references in your paper and all that now if you are writing a technical paper you are carrying out the experiments experimental results needs to be validated either by some mathematical modeling or by some finite element computation you know why it needs validation because science is based on three axioms actually all of us are those who are seeing the video they study science but most of us they don't know what is exactly science science is based on three axioms first axiom of science is that whatever phenomena you are able to see in nature it can be explained in the language of mathematics so whatever otherwise it is not a science so whatever experimental results you are getting this experimental result needs to be validated either by some mathematical modeling some math governing equation and match those two or use some finite element code like ls dana abacus or uh, nccft any any mathematical code to validate it then only it will be a paper purely experimental you cannot publish anywhere so technical paper and the review paper so beginners should not go for very high fi general science direct also can give you help you to identify the right journal for you put in the subject journal list will come click it general matrices don't go for impact factor more than one it is very difficult review process will be very rigorous 
so that's how we select so in this short video what i have told you how a beginner can start his career by writing papers let me know in the chat box if you need any further assistance because i have some six or seven topics in my mind and i'm going to make a short video only for research thank you very much